In this video, we'll be covering the basics of using Spool and its core functions. The library. In the library, you'll find all of our decks, and you can make your video content selections here, or pull in your own clips by tapping the Import Your Own Videos button. For this demonstration, I'll grab this pack from the library. Music. In the Music tab, you can import your own track or choose a song from our stock music selection. I'll pull in a song I have saved on my device. We're now in the Performer. This is where you'll perform your edits like a drum machine. You'll notice the pads are filled with the videos that you selected in the library. On the right are three buttons for Audio Duration, Changing the Canvas Size, and the Editor. The editor can also be accessed by tapping any pad while you aren't recording. In the editor, you can swap what clip is assigned to a pad and pull in new clips from other decks or from your phone storage. When you're ready to really dig into those settings, you can find everything you need here as well. At the bottom of the screen, let's select the FX button. This is where you can assign different effects and make them your own by changing their properties. You can switch what effect is applied to each pad by selecting the pad that you'd like to change, then tapping Effect Settings. From here, simply select what effect you'd like to use and it will replace the current effect. Let's tap Done to return to the performer. Let's try recording our first video sequence. Start by tapping the record button. The sequence will start when you tap any pad. You can scrub through on the timeline and see a preview of your first spool video. The yellow dots on the timeline indicate where your clip changes were made. Let's record some effects on top of the sequence. Tap the back button to return to the start of your sequence. In this demonstration, we'll just focus on these two effects, the waveform and the zoom blur effect. Simply press and hold to apply an effect and release to stop. We'll tap the record button once more, then the play button to start recording. Now if we look at our timeline, you'll notice the lines indicating the timing of the effects we've placed in our sequence. The colors correspond to the effects you've used. In our case, orange for the waveform effect and blue for the zoom blur. You're now ready to export your video. Tap the share button in the top right corner of your screen and select the quality option that best suits your needs. The video will now export and give you some options on where to save it. 